nanny, and everyone calls me Mama Bear. Amanda. Oh my God! Look. look at bon appetit. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. I know you got my back. You already know. Y'all know one thing about Miss Minnie. I like style, so we finna sip and float. All right. Yeah. In the water. All right. Best way to do this, turn oh, around, sit your butt in. Go all at once. Oh, Oh, Sorry. Oh, oh, this is hot. Just sit down. Just sit. You better tell the pastor, though. Oh, <laughs> Tip my little ass over in this inner tube. These things are not made for little people. They're made for skinny, average height people. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> 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 Apparently, the little tube is too small for my big ass, so they put me in a beer cooler. Well, what can I say? It's mini size. Well, I ain't got no paddle, bro. Hey. <laughs> well, whoever ain't got on make it. Look, this is gonna be the little black box. If you don't see us again, then you know what happened. Then you know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> After a good workout, I love to juice up. I just hope that Amanda likes them, too. I know it's not her normal meal of Cheetos and bologna sandwiches, so her taste buds gonna get a shock today. You do one has apple, carrot, sweet, celery. With this one. <laughs> okay, yeah? Yes. Andrea got a good, she got a boy, and now she got a girl. Time to tie those two. <laughs> <laughs> Together. I got a picture. You know I mean? Oh my god. Is she beautiful? She does look like RJ. Welcome to the world, baby Aubrey. I am so excited. I cannot wait to go shopping for you and buy you cute little baby outfits. What's wrong? What do you think? Huh? Because I'm now finding out what's going you know, what's wrong with me. Don't cry. You know, sometimes be embarrassed and even going places because I don't want people to be like, well, why is she breathing so hard and all this kind of stuff. When I was younger, I didn't go to sleepovers because of my snoring. Usually, I want my mom to be here with me. But I'm here with you. Because you're my family, too. Right. Yeah. I love you. You're my cuddle buddies for the night. You're here tonight, girl. They're going to have to be like, who's snoring? Because I don't know who's snoring. <laughs> Even though I don't have my mom here to support me, Amanda is. And I'm so thankful. It's important to have good friends when times get tough. I asked my half-sister to come to Atlanta so we could finally meet, and she said yes. I am a nervous wreck right now. My biggest fear is that she'd meet me and she doesn't want me in her life. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my house. <laughs> Meeting my sister, the first thing I realized is that we're both emotional people. <laughs> oh my God, you look gorgeous. Thank you. I look like you. I know, we're like twins. <laughs> so, yeah, that is my sister. Thank you for coming. I would not miss this for the <laughs> world. It's 
It's crazy. You just don't have any idea how that not being in my life, it was rough. I'm just happy that I connected with you. Everybody give a hand clap for Ricky Smiley. Oh, yeah. This man is a good man. And with that being said, I have a gift for you. One more thing, twins. Wow! 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 We thank God for this chick right here. Yeah. Many y'all, I swear, I swear, I love y'all so much. And I just want to say, man, this is so important to me. This chick right here and what we doing is what this is all about. Man! <laughs> hey! Oh, give me some love. I miss you. How you been? I've been good. Come on in here. My friend Carlos is on a podcast called 85 South. So this would be a great opportunity. I mean, would we have the privilege of getting you on our little podcast? I thought y'all would never ask. I say no more. Let's do it then. Let's get in here. Let's go up in here and get good talk going on. I came here for advice. Not expecting to get invited on the show. I'm nervous, but this... It's too good of an opportunity to pass up. Let me hear your radio voice. <laughs> On the quiet storm. <laughs> I gotta let you know your voice is just captivating. You might need to be one of them operators. <laughs> <laughs> let, listen, let me, we're gonna give you a scenario. Let's say you're trying to get all of the fellas out there to realize what they're missing out on. Give us what that sounds like. Yeah, set it up. Like, fellas, y'all missing out on a 4-3. Oh! Keep going, baby. I don't ask for much. You buy me a Michael Kors pocketbook. Ooh. <laughs> it's only it, popping. It's in oh. my price range, baby. Yes, it is. He actually left. He just moved out. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Okay, girl. Yeah, because we no. all been out. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad for Tanya right now. This must really suck. Girl, I've been there too, and I know how you feel. Just know that you got us. We your baby daddies. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Me and I'm Mark. Hi. I'm Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty, excuse me. You give me life, baby. Are we ready to have fun? Yes. yes. Voice is gone. Yeah. I felt comfortable because we weren't being judged. People stare at us because we're little. People stare at them because they're gay. Yeah. So it's just like I love that. I oh felt God. I felt good. When I was looking into people's faces, it was like they felt free. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you made it, girl. I'm I don't, but I, you know I, I, I would have came. Again, okay? But you know I would have came because we're smart. family. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we always will be family. family. I'm sorry again. Because we stick together. Yes. Three amigos. Yeah. <laughs> right. Three amigos. <laughs>